The last reports of Herman Polk being alive go back to the night before at 7.30. Family told police nothing seemed out of the norm, but police say something has to explain why this happened. After being shot multiple times, it was two men driving by who noticed Herman on the side of the road. But when they went to check, they discovered he was dead. Dwight Haywood grew up with Herman and was also his cousin. We was about the same age that he, that he got killed, but uh, I knew him well, and uh, he was a decent young man. Haywood wasn't around the night Herman was killed, but says the past 28 years have been hard on family. When they're young like that, you hate to hear it, uh, and you know nobody's been brought to justice, so that's what makes it worse. Herman was found laying face down with his hands and arms around the top of his head and blood on his hands. And while they were out there, uh, it so happened that a, a family member uh, came up to one of the officers, was talking to him, um, realized who the subject was, and then they got a officers got a description of the uh, victim's vehicle. Just shortly after talking to family, police found Herman's car here in the 400 block of Flood Street. And although the building is gone now, police say Herman's car was found here at TJ's bar in the parking lot. Officers say this car is similar to the one Herman was driving, a black and tan 1967 Pontiac Bonneville. Someone had to have seen him. Uh, his vehicle was located at a business. Uh, you know, there were people there. There, were, there, there was people in the area. Someone had to have seen him. That's why officers aren't giving up on filling the 13-hour gap. We're still talking about someone's life. We're still talking about someone's uh, son, uh, their brother, uh, their relative, a friend. And, and you, it, you just don't want to see that just disappear. So Haywood and his family are waiting for the day Herman's murder is solved. It's some relief on, on what happened and how it happened and why, you know. Could have gone on to do anything that he wanted to do. Uh, and to have it cut short like this is just, you know, it's unacceptable.